use our hand holds, and I like using a wrist wrap. So with the wrist wrap, you can put the wrist, put, put the hand hold around the top of the wrist, and then you grab. Mm -hmm. So pull down so it gets nice and tight on the wrist. There you go. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hang. So why don't we just come into a lunge, just bring the left foot forward, and just kind of wiggle a little bit. Let the arms stretch. Mm -hmm. Stretch down. You can always bring them a little higher or a little lower, but just let your body hang. So just notice what happens in the hips when you let yourself hang. Do you want to engage your shoulders here? Uh, well, you can pull down or you can just let them, yeah, come up. So when you pull down, it's a totally different experience. We're just letting our gravity stretch us. And then we're just gonna switch. See if you can do that gracefully. Yeah, there you go, really good. Drop in, let yourself hang. Do, I do a lot of wiggling in the swing, you probably noticed. So this is a <clears throat> divergence from what I normally teach in the basic training. But again, I'm giving you guys therapeutics. And so I want to show you how to use the swing and take a break from both your hip flexors and your underarms and just use the hand holds the hang. Okay? Try straightening the front leg. That changes things. Okay? And so now we're going to bring our feet forward. <laughs> Shift your hips from side to side. Your hands will get tired. We'll take a break when we get tired. Okay, you're going to bring your left foot over to the right. Twist. It's kind of like what we did before. Oh, yeah, except when we're yeah. Like really good in there. And a much more of a side stretch. Yes. Yeah. Right up into the armpit. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, the super spinning is actually. So bringing your feet forward, bring your right foot over to the left. And you can really play with it. Go a little bit deeper. Twist even more. You bring your feet forward. So to walk yourself back up. Give yourself a little break. Woo, your hands will get tired when they're overhead. Right? Okay. So that's a nice way to do lunges. We didn't do a ton of lunges when we did number one. I kind of wanted to move you out from underneath the arms, but we can always come back and do more lunges. So now we're going to stand behind the swing. Okay? And when we're behind the swing, we can hold on to the leg loops or the hand holds for this next sequence. Find your hand holds, just hold them in your hands. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to kick the swing forward. You want to learn how to do this uh, movement to create a little momentum in order to get your leg up there. Let's see if we can all start with our right leg up there. You have to time it just right. Yeah. And you want it mostly just on your ankle? Yeah. So we're bunching it up at our ankle for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to rock forward and back. We have plenty of room, so go ahead and rock back. I like to drop in and round. So it's kind of like you're bowing towards your knee. Of course, make sure your left leg is nice and stable. Round it. And then I'm going to do a bicep curl, pull myself up. There you go. I'm going to lean forward. I lean forward all the way. It's like making a wish, right? So you're going to come up onto the ball of the foot and push forward. Yeah, an intense little stretch there. And then go ahead and rock back again. <laughs> this is giving us a few more minutes to digest, right? Because <laughs> we're keeping the belly nice and long. Go ahead and pull forward, rock forward. All right, really good. Now we're going to come to neutral, come to neutral first, and then switch to your leg loops. Now if your hands get tired, I like to hold on to the leg loops. You can hold on to the nub, which is the top of the fabric where it meets the webbing. Or you can hold on to the bottom if your hands are really not having it, you don't want to grip. Some people don't like to grip. If you can hold on to the nub, that would be great. Now we're going to rock back one more time, and we're going to straighten the arms, bow in. Yep, make sure your foot stays hooked. Bicep curl, come on up. Rock forward, keep your biceps engaged, good. One more time, rock back. So do you notice the big stretch? Your back. You can even bend the knee if you want a little bit and pulse. You can just round the back and stretch the arms. It's a nice way to get the stretch through the shoulders. Mm -hmm. Pull yourself back up, bend the front knee, slide in. So now we're coming into a forward lunge. So bunch it up under the knee, switch to holding on to the swing, and lean forward. Did you reposition your back foot this morning? I keep my foot where it is, okay. and then lean. Yeah, there you go. 
Now, this is a traditional pose that they do in aerial yoga. I don't do a lot of aerial yoga um, mimicry. Like, I don't mimic any of their poses, but this is one that feels good um, even with, with just with the same. So now you can try balancing, right? So I have my hands, like, squeezing. Again, just the swing. <clears throat> and then I'm going to hold on and turn my heel down. Okay? Bring the right elbow in. Lean it on your knee. Good. Left arm is towards the sky, and you can kind of press back into the swing to open up. Beautiful. There you go. Nice. So if this feels like enough, just stay here if you want. So the other side, then, we're pressed back into the swing. Okay. Up and overhead with your arm. So you can actually grab the swing if you want. Yes, there you go. And then if you want to straighten the front leg, you can go a little bit deeper. Oh, this is more intense. You would. <laughs> there you go. And so your hips are moving away from one another, right? Great. Beautiful. And then for anybody who wants to get a little crazy with it, you can reach both arms overhead and then twist it open. This obviously is beyond beginner. Okay, so go ahead and come back through center. Look forward. Hold on to the swing. One more stretch forward. You can always hold on for balance. Pull yourself back up to neutral and straighten the front leg. Move the swing back down. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of options, right? Hand holds, mm -hmm. leg loops, or the swing itself. Let's go ahead and hold on to the swing. We're going to wrap our forearms around and do a forward fold. Now as you bow down towards your front leg, so find neutral, there you go. You're going to hold on to the foot and bring the chest towards the knee. There you go. So all the standing poses we do in a normal yoga class, we could do here, but instead of falling over a bunch of times, we let the swing hold us. But we're still balancing. We're still working. Right? Standing leg is working. And we're practicing on pulling the foot up towards the sky. Mm -hmm. so there's not as much weight. OK. So keep holding on to the foot. You can hold on to the foot with the right hand, and then just open up. Left arm back behind you. Gaze back behind you, if you want. Nice. Come on back into a forward fold, both arms wrap around. I like to hold on with my left hand, try and balance, and then right arm reaches back behind me. Okay, that's a big twist. Beautiful. Nice stretch in the left leg. Good. Yeah, so you still have to <clears throat> work in keeping your balance, but the swing is going to keep you from falling over if all goes well. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and reach for the swing. I'm going to transition to hand holds. Bend the knee out to the side and come into a half pigeon. Okay. Now from here, you can use the, the finger grip or go back into the wrist wrap. The wrist wrap allows you to have a little bit more strength. So we're going to come into a floating pigeon. Pick your foot up and float. Nice. Now if you want, you can actually Hook your knee on top of your foot for I dream of genie. Feel like a genie. Stretch the back, stretch the arms, just let yourself hang. And then from here, we're just going to play a little bit before we land. I'm going to straighten both legs and just let myself float a little bit. So you're using your arms, you're using your core. This is practice for coming into some of the acrobatics. Yeah. Do a twist. Sit. Cross legs. Just play in the space a little bit. So as much aerial yoga play as possible. So it's not just traditional yoga poses. You want to play and explore and have some fun in this one. And you can do it, yeah, you can do it. Sam just did, which is coming to a traditional swing pose, which I hardly ever do. Okay. <laughs> you see how we did that? We just got both legs in. Good. Now, once we're in this pose, we're just going to hop out, and we're going to try coming into second side. Before I do second side, there's one more pose that I like to do, which is the Nataraj. Okay? We're all going to do it together, so the face is like... Oh, <laughs> So, you guys are all going to face me. Let's go ahead and get that right leg up. Okay? So, remember, hold on to the leg, loose step up. Okay, that's fine too. But for stability, we want to hold on to the hand holds and then keep the swing forward. Let's try it one more time. Come on down. <laughs> you guys just 
out here. Kick the swing forward, try getting that momentum. Get the leg up, and that gives us lots of stability to come in and out. Okay, so take your right hand, hold on to the left hand. Left hand hold. The switch. Okay? Left arm here, release. So bend the knee in, and then roll over. Now we're all facing the back of the room. Yep, you're at the angle. Again. Good. Now grab the, the hand holds with both hands again. Mm -hmm. Good. Find the hand holds with both hands. You can hop your foot back a little bit, Deborah, if you need stability. Keep the foot flex. There you go. <laughs> nice. nice transitions. Now bend the standing leg and let the arms straighten, and you'll get a great stretch through that right quad. Bend, bend the left leg all the way. Hang straight down. And it's hard to see you, so go ahead and just follow the verbal cues. See if you can do it. Nice. Yeah, you can press back a little bit, Deborah. There you go. Keep the foot flexed so it doesn't come flying up. Mm -hmm. Nice. Big stretch, huh? Pull yourself back up to scan. I'll just look back at me for a second. So I'm going to transition to the swing. My thumbs are pointing down. My elbows are going to point up. And then I'm going to transition into an entourage by wiggling my grip down and then pulling my foot up towards the sky. So release the handholds and hold on to the swing. Thumbs are pointing down. Yes. So elbows towards the sky. Yes. So wiggle your hands down more, Deborah. Squeeze the swing towards one another. I'm going to just give you elbows towards the sky. Yeah, that's it. You squeeze the, the yeah together. There you go. And then you can pull this up. There you go. Beautiful. So Nataraj, keep the foot flexed. Nataraj is one of those poses that are really hard for people to do, right? This gives a little bit more accessibility as well as strength to go deeper. So you can pull and lean forward to come up. And then when you come to stand, you guys are done, okay. No, yeah. When you come to stand, you can transition to the leg loops and come into a warrior three. Oh, okay. Warrior three, we can try airplane wings. It's really nice. We'll do it on the second side. Well done, you guys are good. Coming back in. Beautiful. So hold the leg loops in the center at the bottom so you have a good grip. Mm -hmm. So you bunch it up into your hands. Yeah, bunch it up into the palms. Yeah, and then you can fly. So try expanding your wings. Nice. And then out to the side for balance, warrior three. Nice. Now all you have to do is come to stand. Keep holding on to your leg loops. When you're here, if you put your toes towards the sky, you'll let go of the swing. Yeah, and that's a nice way to come out of it. <laughs> yeah. Let's try the other side. All right, let's start from the top. So let's try holding on to the handholds and swinging forward. So I'm standing at the back of my back. I get a little bit of momentum, and then I'm going to get my left leg up there. There you go. If you didn't get it bunched up the ankle, just use one hand to push it down. Keep holding on. And the first thing we're going to do is just push forward. All right? You make a wish. And then pull back. And when you pull back, I like to straighten my arms and bow in towards my knees to create that stretch. I literally do these every day. First thing I do in the morning is I start hanging in the swing. And doing the standing poses and stretching my back feels really, really good. Highly recommend just practicing getting the hamstrings open, opening up the lower back, opening up the shoulders. Go forward, one more. So press up onto the ball of your foot if you can. It's a big stretch. Okay? And then come to neutral. Now we're going to transition. Shake out your hands if you can balance. Okay. Just hold on if you need to transition to the leg loops. Whenever the hands get tired, we just change position. So they will get tired. Okay. So I like to hold on to the top of the leg loops now. 
just notice that you have a little bit more room to play. So bicep curl, lean back, and then stretch. So we can go a little bit further. Nice. Bow in towards the knee. So this is where we round our back. One of those few poses we round in. And then bicep curl, come on up. Arch and open, lean forward onto the ball of the foot. Over stretch. One more time. Pulse back. Drop in. Bow in. You can always bend the standing leg. You can try straightening it too. A little bit of a pulse you can do there. It really opens up that left hamstring. Pull yourself up to stand. We're going to transition to the swing. Hold uh, on here. Bend the knee. Slide in. Kind of bunched up under the knee, and then we can push forward into a forward lunge. Now we can have our hands on the outside and we can squeeze for balance. So I'm kind of wiggling my chest in there. And balancing. Good. And lift the chest. There you go. That's it. A little bit of a different pose. Okay, hold on. I just don't think my chest comes up in there very much if I don't. <laughs> I was pushing it forward. Yeah. Then <laughs> my chest is <laughs> behind me. It's easy to kind of sink in. That's why I like to stay lifted. Now roll your heel down. So we're opening up to the right side. So left elbow, left knee. Right arm overhead. So not on the right side, but on the left side of the swing. So you can press and open up. So really open up here. So this is the side angle lunge that we do on the floor, but you have a lot, of, lot more space this way. And then you can straighten the front leg and hold on to the toes. And then if anybody feels like going deeper, and then we just have lunge, you can grab the foot with both hands and open up. That, of course, is not beginner. Just reach towards the toes and that's fine too. Beautiful. Hold on to the swing. Help yourself back up. Facing forward, go onto the ball of the foot. One more forward lunge. It's also nice to hold on straight arms to just hang, right? So that lifts the chest. There you go, and keeps you open. Big psoas stretch, you feel that? Okay. Really nice. Okay, come back to stand, straighten your front leg, push that down to the ankle. We're gonna stay holding on to the swing, and I like to wrap around. I wrap my forearms around. You can hook onto the foot. We're pouring our chest towards our knee, and then we're pulling our foot towards the sky. So we push this down to the ankle first. That'll make it a little bit easier. There you go. Around. So these standing poses in a traditional yoga class tend to be really hard. So I'm going to keep holding on with my left. I'm going to open up my right arm and twist. So you can find that balance. Beautiful, guys. Wrap back around, both hands around, switch sides. Holding on with the right, left arm goes back behind you. And you can always hold on to the swing if the foot feels like it's too far. That is an option. So we're going to do the right opener for the IT band. And we're still having to balance, right? We're still engaging those muscles. You can feel the foot working. So find it. One more forward fold. Bow in. Go ahead and slide up the swing to the hand holds. There's like a gazillion things we can do. This is just a nice sample of all the standing poses. Bend the knee out to the side for a half pigeon. Okay, I like using the wrist strap. If you want to try and float, it gives you a little bit more stability. Okay, so you're going to pull your hands down so that's tight on the wrist. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so you just pick the knee up, use your core. Floating pigeon. And then if you want to be lazy about it, you can just hook the knee on top of the foot for I do the genie and stretch your shoulders. Feels really good. Playing the space a little bit. Twist. Maybe try straightening, straightening the left leg. Kick over. Just here. Float up towards the sky. The variations are so good. Very nice. Come down and land it. Okay, so stay holding on. Balance, right? Right underneath our center. 
So the way that we come into Nataraj, the last pose, is we're going to take our right hand and hold on to the left leg. Left hand hold. Okay? So just a finger wrap. So am I doing this backwards? Awesome. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Left hand grabs for right leg. <laughs> Let's go the other way. Okay? Right hand is free. I'm going to bend the knee in and roll it over. Okay, so now you're facing towards the back of the room. Grab the hand holes again. Sit straight down so you're bending that right knee. And then flex the left foot so the leg loop, so the swing doesn't come popping off. And then get a nice big flat stretch. This sounds so huge. So huge. And so just feel the more you relax into it, the deeper the stretch. So the body, the body might want to stay tight in the hips, but see if you can spread them, spread them out. Make your own body weight and gravity do the work. Keep the chest lifted and the head over the body. When you're ready, come on back up to stand. So remember, we're going to transition the holding onto the swing. Thumbs point down, elbows point up. We're going to squeeze the swing towards one another. Shimmy the hands down further, and then you can lift the foot towards the sky and bend forward. Okay? I'm going to do the second side. Finish you guys. Good. Nice. Shimmy your hands down a little bit more. Squeeze the swing towards one another. So both hands are wrapping around the swing. Yes, like that, Deborah. See what I mean? Okay, yeah. So that way you have a nice grip. And then you can pull straight up. It's a big stretch. You just lean forward to get the foot to lift. The more you lean forward, the deeper the stretch. Nice. Now some people actually hold on to their foot and do that. This is preparing us to be able to lift and open up the front of the spine. So don't go too far. Just let it come slowly. And then we're gonna, you guys are ready. We're going to transition to the leg loops. So we hold the center of the leg loops at the bottom in our palms. From there, we can extend straight arm, straight leg into a warrior three. Okay, and then if you want to try airplane wings out to the side, straight arms, you have to balance. Pretty intense. So grip the, the leg loops in your palms. There you go. So you can press down with your arms. Once again, overhead. Nice. Spin it out a little bit, and then come to stand. Once you come to stand, then you just put your toes towards the sky, and the sun comes out. Whew. Really nice, huh? Such a fun standing sequence. We can do a ton of things from there, but let's just keep it pretty mellow for today. So that's